Hello everyone, welcome back to another Zulu Alpha Aviation video. And in today's video, we talk all about those light signals coming from the air traffic control tower. What do they mean and when do we use them? Stay tuned. Before we get started, I would like to give a big thank you to our first Patreon supporter. Bro, thank you so much for giving us $5. It really means the world to us. You know, starting out on YouTube is quite daunting, trying to get a big channel and grow quite large. And for you to give us a donation so early on really shows your commitment towards Zulu Alpha Aviation. Thank you so, so much. And for any of you who really also want to donate to Zulu Alpha Aviation, please click on the link in the description box down below to become a Patreon today. Without further ado, let's get started. There are a variety of light signals that may be used in the event that contact cannot be established between the air traffic control tower and the aircraft. These signals may include A steady green light for an aircraft in flight means that the aircraft is cleared to land and a steady green light on the ground means the aircraft is clear for takeoff. A steady red light for an aircraft in flight means that the aircraft must give way to other traffic and continue circling. And a steady red light for an aircraft on the ground means it should stop. When a series of green flashes is directed at an aircraft in the air, this means that the aircraft must return for landing. And that clearance to land as well as taxi instructions will be given shortly. If the aircraft is on the ground, it means that the aircraft is clear to taxi. A series of red flashes to an aircraft in the air means that the aerodrome is unsafe and that you cannot land there. And to an aircraft on the ground, this signal will mean that the aircraft has to taxi clear of the landing area in use. A series of white flashes in the air means that the aircraft must land at the aerodrome and continue to the apron. Once again, landing clearance will be obtained in a short while. If the aircraft receives this signal on the ground, it must return to starting position on the aerodrome. A alternating red and green signal directed to an aircraft which is either on the ground or in the air requires that aircraft to take extreme caution. Finally, if the aircraft receives a steady red light on final approach, this means that the aircraft must go around disregarding any previous instructions it should not land for the time being. The pilot can acknowledge these signals in a few different ways depending on whether it is day or night. The aircraft, when in flight by day, can rock its wings. This signal is not expected on the base leg or the final approach leg due to obvious safety hazards. If the aircraft is on the ground by day, it can move the rudder and the ailerons. When the aircraft is in flight during the night time, it can switch on the landing lights on and off two times. Or if it is not so equipped, it can substitute the landing lights for the navigation lights and switch the navigation lights on and off twice. The same happens on the ground during night time. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed that video. Please comment down below if there's anything you want me to change or anything you would like to see. Please also consider to like and subscribe. Also click on the link down below to become a Patreon supporter today. Thank you guys once again so, so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Stay safe. Bye for now.